hi guys it's been a while you're welcome back to my youtube channel today i'll be teaching us how you can make this off shoulder um circular sleeves yeah and it's um, made from a quarter circle so let's get started now as usual i always like to draft on paper because i'm doing a tutorial you could actually do this directly on your fabric okay so we are going to be making a quarter circle now for circular sleeves your circular sleeve can be a quarter circle it could be a half circle it could be a full circle it could be a double circle okay but this particular sleeve it's not um, very full okay so it's going to be a quarter um, circle okay now the radius of a quarter circle is four times the circumference over two pi okay and um, our circumference is going to be um, eight how did i get eight what i did was i subtracted my um upper bust circumference from my shoulder circumference okay we can see that on the screen so that's four times eight so eight is the circumference that's the width of my off shoulder sleeve okay so and um, pi is um 3.14 is a constant okay so what you're actually fixing here is um the length of your sleeve head okay mine is eight and then um pi is 3.14 okay so everything is constant aside your circumference okay so you can use this to cut um it's uh a skirt okay um a peplum and all that so this is a radius of a quarter circle i hope we get, got that okay so now for a quarter circle you don't need to fold the fabric all you need to do is you're going to measure the radius from the edge of your paper or fabric so i'm just marking my radius which is approximately five inch okay so like i said the only thing you're imputing in that formula is your circumference so if you're cutting a skirt you're going to impute your waist circumference if you're cutting uh Cutting whatever you're cutting, just put in the circumference, okay? So this is my radius, and I'm cutting this out. Then length. Next thing is to cut out the length of the sleeve. Now, um, for the dress I'm making, the circular sleeve is two layers, okay? So you're gonna cut out the first layer. You measure the length. So the length depends on you, okay? So I'm measuring out um, the length. I think this is about seven inch or eight inch, thereabouts. So you just measure the length round like this okay okay so um this is how it's going to be so i will cut out okay so automatically you can use this to cut you know the other layers the only difference between um, this and the other layers will be in the length okay so it's either the second layer is shorter or longer okay it depends but for this tutorial i cut out just two layers okay so i'll just place the peplum on another edge of the paper like this and cut out the radius so it means all the layers have the same radius the only difference is the length okay all right so like i said you can choose to reduce or increase it so um for me um I'll be working and um, the first one we cut out to be the lo my longest length okay so for the second one I'll just work with them um, probably five inches okay so I'll just mark five inch round it's the same radio like I said it's just the length that is um, different so once I cut this out I will transfer this to my fabric okay and I'm going to be lining each of the layers so you just join it like this So like I said, to get um, the width of your shoulder sleeve, you subtract your upper bust circumference measurement from your shoulder circumference measurement, okay? Whatever you get there. So on the average, most people use 7, 8, plus size is probably 9, but 7, 8 is the average. So maybe even use 6. Okay, so I've transferred this to my fabric now. I add a seam allowance to both sides, 1, 1 inch, and then half inch at the top and bottom. And then this is the second layer here okay so i'm using the lace fabric as both my fabric and lining okay so i have four pieces two for each um sleeve okay i hope we're not confused all right so this is the longer layer which is the um, lace fabric 
and um, I use doll face for the other layer there and I also have four piece two each for the sleeves okay so now it's really pretty easy to sew so what I'm going to be doing right now is we're going to be turning here later not now okay same thing for the other um, sleeve there we're going to be turning the the lower part but not now first of all we're going to be working with the um, lower the shorter peplum okay so for the shorter peplum I've turned the under okay you can see I've turned it all right then I will pick the fabric of the second layer like so and place the shorter peplum on it and then the lining of the bigger peplum you understand I decided to use the same lace fabric as a lining okay so whatever if you decide to use satin so the satin which is the lining will be on top so you turn the top and the bottom okay and then make sure you top stitch so that um, the lining is not sticking out okay so this is what you're going to be having here you can see all nice and clean next step is to you know fold your sleeve into two you fold it meanwhile you know the armhole is curved it's not straight like this so we're going to be adjusting this part here okay so this is my dress i've already sleeve um fixed one of the sleeves so i will measure from there to the armhole depth there okay whatever it is i will measure it on my sleeve okay from the top okay i would measure it and then mark it with my chalk so you measure from where you have the join in there and then you just create a slight curve so that it fits into the armhole the armhole is not straight okay so i'll measure what i measured on the dress now and mark it okay so i'll just trim off slightly I have my seam allowance on the sleeve already so i'll just trim out slightly like that so i have a slight curve okay then from that point i'll sew one inch down okay so that's going to be like um the continuation of the sleeve all right pretty simple now i will pick up my sleeve okay and then attach um one side of the sleeve to um the front armhole like that make sure you pin it yeah so that it doesn't move here and there so you pin it and then next you pin um the joining on the sleeve to the armhole i hope that made sense yeah so you just join it like that and pin it okay and then you will also join the other side of the sleeve to the other side that's to the back armhole now on the joining. you know it's an off shoulder dress so i'll just spin it like this okay and then take it to my sewing machine and sew it and that's all so this is the outcome of the dress it's really lovely so like i said if you want it to have more fullness you can do the full or a half circle i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please give me a thumbs up leave your comment and reaction and do not forget to share thank you so much for watching bye